How admirable are thy tabernacle, O Lord of hosts. Mm. My soul longs, yea, mm. even Long. faints for the court of the Lord. Yeah. My heart and my flesh cries out mm. for thy living God. I love this. Yes. My soul longs, mm. even faints in the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cries out for the living God. Hallelujah. Wow. That's how I felt. I, being a missionary in Dominican Republic, gives me a lot of time to be alone with Jesus, mm -hmm. with Yeshua HaMashiach. Mm -hmm. It gives me time to be with him. And, as, and when I'm here in the States with the kids and the grandkids and, and people visiting, I, I don't have time. But my soul is constantly calling on to him. I'm constantly crying within me. Lord, I want to be in your presence. I want to be in your presence. Mm. I need to be in your presence. You know, being in your presence, you know, it's a, uh, let's call it three blessings. The blessingness of those who dwell in the tabernacle. Mm. God dwells in the tabernacle. The blessedness of those who come to the tabernacle are you guys. We get blessed by you guys. Hallelujah. And the blessings of all who trust in the Lord. Because when you're around people who trust in the Lord, it's very different than those that just visit the church. People who trust in the Lord are in his presence. They're people who are in his glory, in his grace. Amen? Amen. This Amen. scripture is a, a scripture in the Old Testament, but it's a typology of Jesus, of the Yesh, of Yeshua, Hamashiach. It's a typology because the, the old goes into the new. And Amen. even though David didn't know Yeshua, he knew Adonai, he knew God, right? And But he's so long to be with him. He cried out. Mm. He thinks, oh Lord, how much I want to be in your tabernacle, how much I want to be among you, you know? And I believe that if we took more time to be in depth with the Lord, we will see that, that, um, that glory cloud. We will see the miracles. We will see the healing. We will see the deliverance, you know? We, but so much the church has become superficial. You know, they go to church just to say they go to church. But they're not in depth with the Lord. It's like when you go for physical therapy. You know, you go to physical therapy one day a week. And then the rest of the week you don't go. Well, why are you going to get better? It's when you do that physical therapy every day mm -hmm. that you see the difference. Mm -hmm. well, it's the same thing. You come into the house of the Lord, to the tabernacle. You worship. You love on him. You let him love on you. But Monday through Saturday should be the same. Amen? And my spirit was like that, you know, when when I couldn't come, I was so um, burdened with the news that my daughter might have cancer. I was so burdened down, I couldn't come. And it's, you know, the Lord has been, it's, he's like a, a part of my life today. And I give him all the glory, you know? So I, call, I started calling out everybody to please pray for my daughter. Please pray for my daughter. And this one day, after I had that huge, um, I had this, this anxiety attack, I came to the Lord. And I, I called my twin sister, and we're on the phone, and I cried with her because I couldn't cry. And so once I started crying, it was like a morning within me. It was like, it was more like a, a weird sound that just came out of me. You know, Romans 8, 28 speaks about the growing that happens with you that, it, that no, no utterance can, can really, you know, it yes. can, right? That it's, it's, it's the, the Lord, it's a, the spirit of Jesus interceding with the Father. Amen. That's right. With Yeshua. And so... That's how I felt. And, and so I started weeping. And I started weeping and weeping. It just started coming off of me. It just started coming off of me. And I was, I was free. Mm -hmm. and, and then I came to the scripture. 
And I said, oh my God, Lord, how I long to be in your presence. And I couldn't. Yes. I couldn't. And, and I, it was just so amazing. But um, I called everyone to please pray for my daughter. Please pray for my daughter. And as I lean, I got on my knees and I prayed for my daughter to Yeshua HaMashiach. I prayed and I felt the presence of God. This fire came upon my hands and I knew it was going to be okay. Amen. I Amen. just knew it was going to be okay. And so I told my daughter, we're going for a second opinion. Mm -hmm. And I took my daughter for a second opinion on Friday. And my daughter has no cancer. For Amen. the glory of God. I thank and you, she Lord. Could have had it. And she could have had it because we don't know. But you know what? Thankful to those that pray, mm -hmm. those that intercede, because it's it's all in one unity. It's all of us together. I'm grateful to that. I'm grateful to God for that, you know. So I just encourage, you know, that you know, we just think about these things. God yearns to be with us. Yeshua HaMashiach yearns to be in the presence of us. He, he, that's, that's, that's all he yearns for. And our soul should be the same. We should yearn to be in the presence of our Lord God. Amen? Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord.